Hello. Welcome to Verbling. I am Teacher Oakley, and it is time for da -da -da, Show and Tell. Okay. Hello. Welcome to the class. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Is, is your name Iris? Is that right? Yes. Oh, okay. Hi, Iris. Yes. How are you? Where are you from? I'm from China. From China? Uh, yeah. Okay. Iris, in China, um, do they, do you ever in school, when maybe when you were young, a child, did you ever play show and tell in school? You, you, no, not at all. Okay. Well, this is a common thing in America. We bring an object from home, something special to us, something we really like, and we show it to the class, to the other children, and we explain uh, everything about it. Where did we get it? Um, uh, why we like it so much? And, uh, and, and we kind of show off. We, we show that thing to everybody in the class. Oh, look what I have. Okay. Okay. So that's what we're doing today. So if you have any object to show us, that would be great. Or even if you have a picture, like a file uh, of a picture from a vacation, something like that, um, we can do screen share, too. You can show us a picture. Anything you want, really. Uh, uh, um, I'm first in the web, uh, uh, the hang hangout. First time in the first hangout? Time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so you're going to just, you know, real briefly on the top up here, you see the things that control your microphone, or maybe it's over here. Uh, the microphone control and block and the camera block and some settings, all right? But on the side, on one side is the chat box. It reverses in the camera, so I, I might be confused. Like One side is the chat box, and you can type a message anytime you want to. Okay. And on the other side, you see uh, a little, like, person with a plus sign. That's... That's the Hangout chat box. Right in the middle, there's a screen with an arrow. That's a screen share. And you can, you can uh, pull up any file, like a picture, and you can actually screen share that. You can show it to the whole class. So uh, anyway, a couple other students have joined, so I want to say hello to them. I'll, I'll talk to you a little Hi. later, Iris. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, Ab Abdul. Hello. How are you today? Oh, can't hear your microphone. Oh, uh, he's, I'm, he's I am very well. Thanks, teacher. Oh, okay, there we go. Very good. All right. Um, welcome to the class, Abdul. All right, do you have Thanks, something? Teacher. Do you have something to show us today? We're going to play Show and Tell. Yeah, yes. Have you heard of Show and Tell before? Yes. Oh, okay. Where, where are you from, Abdul? I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan. And do they have Show and Tell at, at, in school at, in Pakistan? Do they yes. do that? Really? Yeah, Very all, cool. All. Oh, excellent. Who would have, who would have thought? Oh, very good. So you know exactly what we're doing. Okay. Yes. I'm just gonna say hi to a few more students, and then we're gonna get started. Uh, ben Benin, are you there? Yes, Benin. I'm here. It's Benin. Benin, thank you. Benin, thank, thank you. Yes, and right. everyone, if I butcher your name, if I mispronounce your name, please correct me. Okay. Thank you, Benin. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Did you ever play show and tell in school when you were young? Um, actually, I don't know uh, 
What oh, is, uh... <laughs> show and tell. Okay. Well, let me explain to everybody, since we have more students in the class and quite a few view viewers out there. Very common in uh, United States, and I guess Pakistan, <laughs> is uh, an activity that we do in maybe elementary school. Maybe we're eight or nine or ten years old. And um, the teacher will say, okay, tomorrow we're going to have show and tell. So what you do is you bring, ho you bring an object from home, maybe something unusual, maybe something that's very important to you. Uh, maybe your, you know, as a child, probably your favorite toy or your coolest toy or something. Maybe an uh, electronics device. It really could be anything in the world. And you bring it to class, and you stand in front of the class, and you explain the story of the object. Let me give you an example. Dun, 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 dun. Here's my show and tell. <laughs> nice hat, huh? You like this? I just got this hat. My last time I went, uh, I went food shopping. It's a little difficult with the with a headset. Last time I went food shopping at the supermarket, I was buying some chicken, and the people at the chicken station were were wearing these hats as part of their uniform. Cool. And so I complimented their fine apparel. I said, wow, that's a cool hat. Do you think I could have that hat? And Actually, I, I, actually, I didn't say that. I just said, that's a cool hat. I wish I had a hat like that. And the very nice uh, shopkeeper gave me the hat. So now I have my own chicken hat. <laughs> Ta-da! I know. I know you're all very jealous, and you all wish you had a hat. <laughs> I know that. But it's mine, and I'm keeping it. So here's my show and tell. I might have a few things to show and tell. But that's the idea. Um, get an object and tell what is tell the class what's the story of that object. So if you have a camera, you can actually show us, like I just demonstrated. Or maybe you have a picture, um, you know, a picture file, which you could do screen share and show us. Um, and if you really can't think of anything, guess what? I'll find something for you. <laughs> so it would be better if you find your own object, your own thing. <laughs> yes. Might might be easier for you. Okay, I'm just gonna say a quick howdy and uh, check if people's microphones are working. Ferenc, Ferenc, are you there? Ferenc, Casendes. Oh boy, I may be saying your name wrong. Okay, maybe not. Hernan. Felipe. Hernan? Hernan, are you there? Are you there, please? Hi. Hi. Oh, very good. Okay. Uh, how are you today? I'm pretty fine. Okay. Did uh, you ever have show and tell in school when you were a child? Uh, actually, I don't remember that, but I think <laughs> I probably got. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Do you have Do you have a camera? Yes, I have a camera. Okay. So, do you have something to show and tell? Yes, I have something. It could be anything, right? It could be anything. Absolutely anything. You're just going to tell us. Basically, what we're trying to do is an exercise in description. So, when we describe something, which you may have to do in real life, you know, you may be. Oh, you may be. Describing a product. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Uh, Constantine, are you there? Yes, I'm there. I'm here. <laughs> You're in there. Okay. Uh, Const. Okay. Never mind. You've obviously taken care of it. If you have uh, the Hangouts window and the Verbling window, um, quite often we can hear an echo. But obviously, you've already taken care of that. Another thing, everyone, I would recommend uh, headset or earplugs and microphone if you can. That cuts down on static and feedback. 
Um, okay, so anyway, our exercise today, show and tell, we're practicing description. Whenever you're describing something, an easy way to have, you know, words to describe is think of the WH questions. Who, what, where, when, why? Okay, like my chicken hat. <laughs> the biggest question is why. Where did I get it? The supermarket. When? Last week when I went food shopping. Who did I get it from? The shopkeeper. Why did I get it? Because I'm a crazy person. I don't know that part. But uh, that's the idea. All right. Um, hi, Sarah. Yeah. Hi. No. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, wow. One of the one of the gentlemen said hi exactly when you were moving your lips. It was quite scary. I almost fell out of my chair. Okay. Hi, Sarah. Where are you from, Sarah? I'm from Belgium. Belgium. Oh, very nice. Okay. Uh, did they play show and tell in Belgium? I don't remember. Maybe when I was young, but uh, I don't remember. Okay. Do you do you have an item for us today? Yes. I you do. do. Yes. Really? You okay. Yeah, yeah, I want you to show. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yay. Um, do you oh. see these balls? I sure do. It's wow. um, coconut. Uh, an empty coconut. Oh. So, okay. Right. So I received this. Uh, this is a present um, that I received in uh, Bali. So this is a coconut with a Balinese planting, and uh, that was in 2007 uh, from a woman, uh, uh, which no, I I lived in a family, and the woman uh, gave me this present. Ah, okay. Was was the woman from Bali? Yes. Ah, okay. And she lived with you for a while. It's yes. quite beautiful and unique. Yes, it's and uh, I guess we can put uh, water or liquid in. Yeah, it's quite unique. Unique, one of a kind. Nice, that yeah. is cool. I like it. I want one. Uh, actually, I'm in the Philippines, I, but I've never seen anything like that here. That's really cool. Very nice. Yes. Yes, with a. Uh, I don't know if you can see the the painting. What what's the but, painting? But uh, it's a uh, people with a Balinese style. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, and and plants. So. Cool. All right. It's like a beautiful Balinese coconut grenade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Okay, that was cool. Very good, very nice. Good job, Sarah. Thank you. That Thank was cool. You. Awesome. Uh, Abdul. Yes. Are you, are you there? Are you ready, buddy? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. What have you got for us? What have you got to show it's, us? It's it's a mobile phone. Uh huh. And I bought it from uh, my shopping mall. It's just near my house, and. Why? Because it's a very big question. Because one of my friend had it, and he used to talk his girlfriend all the time. So I was jealous, and you know, I was trying to get a piece of mobile like that. So I saved my money. I asked my mom to give me some extra money. So I went for to buy oh. this thing, and I'm very happy. And I'm all the time talking. To my girlfriend all the times. Ah. Yeah, morning, evening, night. It's easy. Okay. All right. You, we were telling your story, and that's a very good job. Telling a story and using time sequence to tell a story. Nice job. But I was, I was, I couldn't wait to ask you. Were you jealous of the device, an electronics device? We call it a, the device. <laughs> or were you jealous that your friend had a girlfriend? That's what I was wondering. But as it turns out, you answered the question because it turns out you have a girlfriend and, and you talk yes. to her all the time. Okay. Yes. Actually, I was jealous okay. because, not, not because of this mobile phone, because of 
he was talking all the time and I did not have one so I was just waiting and watching him that he is busy with the football with his girlfriend so I just bought this one <laughs> okay well very good now did you did you get a girlfriend because you have a mobile phone <laughs> <laughs> no, I have okay. actually two girlfriends whoa and, uh, okay <laughs> Hey, um, Abdul, be careful, you know, maybe the, they may be viewing the verbaling class, <laughs> by the way, be aware, okay, please, everyone, be aware before you say bad things about your boss or, uh, or talk about your many girlfriends, be aware that there are people <laughs> viewing oh, the verbaling, yeah. also there's a recording, they could watch this two days from now, you just don't know, so, alright, just a warning for everyone, alright. Okay, Benin, are are you there? Yes, I'm here, but I don't have a cam. You don't have a camera. Yes. Okay. Um, for those of you who don't have a camera, what you might try, uh, you might search for a picture. Maybe most of us have um, picture files. Yeah, there you go. You're like practicing. That? All right. Ooh, okay. see, there you go. You figured yes. it out. All right, this is uh, a necklace. It's traditional because I'm uh, from Tunisia. And uh, in our um, in Tunisia, we have necklace like that with uh, this hand. And the hand means uh, you will be protected uh, from the bad eye. Ah. If when you put this, uh, when they say, for example, uh, sh this, uh, we have a tradition that when they say, for example, this girl is very beautiful, uh, you might... Uh, um, have something bad. So when you uh, wear that necklace, you will be protected. Ah, okay. In, in English, right? Okay. In English, we have similar the evil eye. Now, I see in the center or in the the yes, palm, the palm of the hand, this part. There's an eye, right? Yeah. Okay. We have uh, the uh, eye also. All right. Uh, yeah, I saw it in the in the pendant. We could call that a necklace or a pendant, by the way. Either either way, um, either word is appropriate. Uh, okay, that's cool. Now, oh my, that was weird. Did did something just happen to the eye? Did I just see that? <laughs> okay. All right, that's freaking me out. It's magic. It's magic, and I'm getting scared. Okay. All right. Now you've got to explain a little bit. Um, what do you mean when a guy says that a woman is beautiful? That this will what protect her from the guy? I... <laughs> no, it's... Oh no. Well, apparently it did not protect her from getting kicked out of the hangout. <laughs> not effective. Okay. <laughs> Not a good product endorsement. Okay. All right. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't work that well. All right. Let's uh, move on. Hernan. Hernan. Okay. He has a half a camera. So. Okay. Great. All right. Cool. What well, do you I got? I have this. Oh. What is... Okay. What is that? Tell us about it. Well, th this is a bookmark. Oh, okay. And... I I had a an exchange semester in, in 2012, and I met I made many Korean friends, and yeah, but and they knew that, that I love reading because I, I I really like reading books, and one of my best friends there gave me this, so it is is a very beautiful bookmark, but it rep represents. Uh, something is, which is called a, a handbook. Ah, traditional yeah. Korean dress. Yeah, it's a it's a traditional Korean dress, right? And yeah, I, I really like it because it's is 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 very useful to read and is is beautiful as well. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I, yeah. Yeah. I, okay. Um. Now I I'm in the Philippines uh, here, 
Hernan, and I have many Korean students, actually. I've had many Korean students, so I've met many, many Koreans. Now, what, why were you, were you, you were in an exchange program? Yeah, I actually was in the United States, but we had like uh -huh. the same exchange programs and we attend the same university. We went to Oklahoma University. Oh, really? You're yeah, a that's Sooner. Where we met. Yeah, so, I, I used to be a Sooner <laughs> for a semester, yes. Okay. Well, you qualify. You made it through a semester, you're always a Sooner now. <laughs> yeah, once a Sooner, always a Sooner. Right, exactly. Very good. Good use of uh, an American ex or American English expression, right? Very good. <laughs> All right, you. that's very cool. Yeah, I, I, I recognize the Hanbok there. Excellent. Traditional dress. That was very nice. All right. Very good. Nice job, by the way. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, Iris, are you uh, are you still with me here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you have something to show the class? Do you have yeah. something? Oh, goody. Okay. Super. Go go ahead. Look. Uh, oh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, a cup, a cup, uh, two cups, and teapot. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Uh, li uh, this is a uh, uh, Chinese uh, traditional always drink tea. This is, <laughs> li uh, this is my daughter sent me for my birthday gift. Ah, very nice. Yeah. Uh, very. I always use this drink the tea. That uh, let me think my my daughter. My daughter ah. uh, uh, is very uh, is ten years old. Oh, really? She's very thoughtful. For that age, okay. Um, okay, you know you can say re reminds me of my daughter. Okay, Remi remind me my daughter. Reminds me of my daughter. Yeah, and many people are it's many people things that are very precious to them, things that are important to them, remind them of a certain time or reminds them of a certain person. That's very cool. Um, I, I like that. That was really neat. What is the picture inscribed on the teapot? Is, is it a dragon? Yes. On, on the teapot? Uh, uh, yes, dragon. Dragon, okay. Very, very nice. That's, okay. that's very cool. Yeah, that's, that's very nice. You know, I noticed Actually, uh, Iris is from China. I don't know. He was. I. He didn't say where he's from. I was talking to him earlier in the class. But so he's got a traditional Chinese teapot. You know something? I noticed that it's very. It's is it porcelain? Is it made from clay? Is the teapot porcelain? Is it very fragile? Easy to break? Uh, no. No? Okay. All right. I can't tell what it's made out of. All right. But that's another thing we can descri help to describe. But you know something I noticed is, uh, you know, I'm an American and, and I see Chinese people or Japanese people having tea, very small, delicate, very nice crafted, very beautiful. You know, your teapot and, and tea cup, very, very pretty, but small and fragile. Um, but, you know, I'm an American, and I, I drink coffee from a gigantic, thick, ugly, ugly mug. I don't know what that says about American culture, but uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit jealous, to be honest. I, I wish... I wish I was refined, as refined as you are, sir. 
<laughs> but I'm just an ugly American. Oh, well. I, I have to deal with it. Uh, very nice. Thank you for sharing that, by the way. Very, very nice. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Hi, Nora. Nora? Uh, hi. Hello. Hello. How are can you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. We can hear you pr okay. very, quite well, actually. Oh, I know that you see. Do you see this? Oh. This is a fridge magnet. <laughs> okay. uh, I don't know that you see it. Fridge magnet. I'm from Hungary, but uh, now I live in London. So this is the present for my uh, parents. I uh, bought this about two months ago, but I, but I uh, haven't uh, uh, sent yet uh, for my parents. But uh, but yeah, next week sometime. Yeah, I will send this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you you bought it uh, as a present for your parents. <laughs> Yes. But, but you still haven't sent it. <sighs> okay, yes, yes, this is true, yes. But, but one day, yes, I will, I will send. <laughs> one day, <laughs> okay, in a few yes, years. Yes, one day. Uh, yeah. All right, it's a fridge magnet. Um, actually, I, I don't know, is that common in everyone's cult culture? Uh Magnets, by the way, uh, by the way, Nora, it's magnet, magnet. Magnet. Good. Magnet. Better. Okay. All right. Magnet. So fridge magnets are very common, I don't know, for Americans, I guess, London, they're common. I don't know, they're common in many cultures. You can put a magnet on the refrigerator and hold up your bills or papers or your, your child's painting from school things like that, um, and some people like to collect refrigerator magnets. Do you actually collect them, Nora? Do you collect refrigerator uh, magnets? Yes, uh, my, uh, to my parents, <laughs> yes, and uh, my uh, sister is like, uh, like uh, the fridge magnetic, magnetic, yes. Yeah. Okay, just just magnet. Ah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, especially if they collect them, I think it's a good present. It'd be great. Um, something that we that we give to give or or we buy something when we travel to remember. Um, we we can call it a, like a souvenir, like um, Hernan's uh, bookmark. Yeah. Okay, it was a souvenir of his time in Oklahoma. You know, obviously, your fridge magnet has the classic London double-decker bus and Big Ben inside it. Yeah, right? Big Ben and I, London I, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Okay, um, let's see, do we have anybody else who hasn't taken a turn? Yes, we do. Uh, Gassan. Are, are you? Uh, yes, hello. How are you, Colin? Very good. How are you doing today? Thank you. I'm fine. Okay. We're, we're playing a little game called Show and Tell. <clears throat> have you, okay. have, did you ever do show, show and Tell in school when you were young? Oh, no. <laughs> we okay. didn't have this game. <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right. It's very common in like American school. So what we're doing is we're uh, showing the class an object that's important to us or has special meaning or has a little story attached to it, and just okay. uh, explaining uh, what the item is and describing it a little and telling the story. All right. So do you think you have something to show us to share with us? Yeah, I have a lot of things to. Sh Show you. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I reached the, the closest thing to me. Uh, this is I don't know if you see it. This is a camera. Uh huh. Okay, this is a Canon uh, 
Connect uh, QL17 made in Japan and even the serial numbers here 550458 this is ma uh, from um, 1970 made in 1970 42 years ago and uh, uh, it's a great camera it's a range finder difficult to take photo with but uh, enjoyable if you know how to uh, use it uh, it's of course a film camera, not digital. No days all digital, but this is a, a f old film camera, one of my cameras. So I have actually digitals too, but uh, I like both digitals and uh, and uh, negative cameras. I bought this camera last year. I was passing by a shop, and they have a lot of old cameras. I was passing by by. Then I saw this one by accident. And I have a thing for rangefinders, for this kind of cameras. I, I, I'm sure uh, my, uh, you know, the students here maybe they don't understand what means rangefinder. It's kind of you know, a camera. So there's different kind of camera. One of the kinds are rangefinder. Different, um, in fact, different companies they make it. So I have a thing for uh, for rangefinders. When I saw it, I had to buy it. So I went in and uh, it's an old camera. I'm not. I wasn't sure it's working or not. I told him, the guy, how much for this? He said one hundred dollar. So anyway, I gave him five. Um, I think I gave him forty dollar. Wow. Yeah, forty percent of what he asked for. So I tested it. It's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's working. So I tested it the same day and I. Wow, that's a great deal, and it, and it works perfectly fine. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, he needs, a, uh, he needs a magic pendant. Okay, all students will, will be issued a magic necklace upon entering the class from now on. Okay, um, uh, you might want to... I don't know what happened. <laughs> that was quick, Sorry. though. It's okay. You came back really fast. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't. Well, you know. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, I bought this uh, for forty dollar, and uh, though you could find it on the, on the internet if it's clean, you could find it for two hundred dollar or two hundred fifty on eBay. If it's not, if it's not working, you could even buy it for one dollar. But if it's in good condition like this one, you could pay a hundred or two hundred dollar for it. Anyway, this is uh, you know, this is a story. Okay. Hope it's not very uh, boring. No, no, actually that's very good. And you pointed out some things that I, I want to reinforce with the rest of the class. Notice when he was doing his description, he used a lot of detail, and as well, he explained something about. Um, how it worked. All right. If we're describing objects, really, there are so many adjectives and so many ways to describe things. You have color, material, um, size, shape, uh, texture, how it feels. Um, so many ways to describe objects. But normally, if you really want to come straight to the point, you uh, describe something by saying what it's used for. You're from outer space? This is called a glass. It's used for drinking liquids. Bung! So if we're trying to describe something to someone, um, describing what it does or what its function is, is a very good way to do that. So actually, that was a, that was a nice description and good use of English, good use of detail. English is a detail language. All right, but uh, actually, you know something? Actually, uh, Gassan, you reminded me. I once at uh, a garage sale. Do you know, does anybody know garage sale or sometimes sometimes called a yard sale? I wonder if you guys have these. No. We Do don't you? have normally, but yeah, I have seen a lot of them. Yeah, you have? Okay, for those who don't know, that's when a private citizen just takes all of 
their junk, <laughs> all of the things they don't want anymore, old dishes or books or clothes or old skis or golf clubs, whatever, and they put them out on their lawn or in front of their house or in their garage and they put little price tags on them and you go buy their stuff. And it's usually very cheap. Sometimes you, you find amazing deals. So actually, uh, Gassan, your story reminded me of one time I found a Kodak Brownie. Are you familiar with that camera? Do you know a Kodak Brownie? Oh, I think he's stuck again. Okay, a Kodak Brownie is like the first, one of the first cameras ever. Uh, um, and I got an amazing deal on it. So it was, it was very special for me for a long time. And actually, I gave it to another friend who was very into, very much into or interested in photography. So I had a Kodak Brownie for a while. But which, and I bought it for like, I think, $5. Something ridiculous. Okay, um, let's see if everyone, you, you might want to look around, see if you got something else, or maybe think about if you have a, a picture file. Um, I'll start, or uh, I've got one more that I want to share with the class, and here it is. Da -da -da -da. Okay, can you see this? Another dragon. It's the whole one. It is, and it has... Philippines here, here. Um, it is a horn. It's a <laughs> it's a carabao horn. Carabao, the the big giant like water buffalo. Yeah, and it, it's uh, like a souvenir. It's got the uh, coconut trees over here and the the dragon. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> I'm not very good. But you can blow it and make a noise. Uh, I'm not. I can't do it. Well, some people can blow it, make a noise. Yeah, it's a horn. It's a horn, and it's a horn. It's a horn that makes a sound, and it's the actual horn. You, well, you can't see, but it's hollow. Um, and uh, I bought this from uh, somebody just in the street selling souvenirs. And I, I don't, I live in the Philippines, I don't really need a souvenir. But the reason I kept this and I bought it is um, similar to Gassan's story. Uh, because at first they wanted uh, quite a lot of money. I think in pesos they wanted like something crazy, like 5000 which would be about 125 bucks or something. Um... And I talked them down, and I ended up buying this for like 10%, for I think 500 or something quite cheap, which is like 10 bucks, um, 12 bucks. So the only reason I bought it is because I got a good deal for it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's the story. And it is kind of unique, though. And it's all handcrafted. It's pretty cool. Um, which brings me uh, a quick question. We're all from this class, all different cultures. Uh, in your culture, I'm going to ask everybody, in your culture, is it common to haggle? Or, and, and, you know, since you brought it up, haggle or negotiate, for example, a price or something. Would you ever haggle? the price of something. Uh, Sarah, let's start with you. The Hangout is doing weird things. Here. Yes, the, the, that was, I was dis disconnected, so I didn't have a question. Okay. Yeah, I, the Hangout is acting peculiar today. The question is, we're both uh, actually in uh, Gassan's story and my story, we're talking about getting a really good deal bargaining or negotiating um, for things and, and buying them after negotiating a price. Is that, do people ever do that in Belgium? 
Oh, not specially. <laughs> not in the stores. Um, you can do that if it's uh, in black market, but. Uh, <laughs> oh, black market? <laughs> hmm. No. <laughs> but uh, no, not specially. I, I do that in, uh, in Asia my, when I travel, but not in Belgium. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from I'm I'm from America. Obviously, I'm an American, but uh, I live in the Philippines now, as you just noticed. And everything is negotiable here. Nice. Really, everything you can bargain. <laughs> There's almost nothing that you don't bargain. Uh, Abdul. Yes. Hi. How? And where are you from again? From Pakistan. Pakistan. Okay. So that's right. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, in Pakistan, do people haggle or do they bargain when you buy yes. things? Yes, all the time. In oh, Asia, uh, I tell you that in Asian countries, this is a culture when the salesman always tell a very high price of something. And when we negotiate with them, they slowly down the price. And <laughs> when we, you know, agree on something that they sell something, anything. Right. Okay. <laughs> Slowly yeah. bring down the price. Yeah. 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 In the Philippines, pretty much everything you can haggle. Um, you buy mangoes, one kilo mangoes, you haggle the price. It's sort of it's expected. Is, is that the people expect you to haggle? They're a little surprised if you don't. Right. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. I want to say hi to Amar. Hello, Amar. Hi. How are you? Hi. Fine. Okay. Um, do people haggle in your in your country? Amar, where are you? Yeah. Egypt? No, no. I'm oh. from uh, Saudi oh. Arabia. Yeah, Saudi. I'm sorry. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. So people commonly haggle for things there. Yeah. Uh, 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 only for a uh, uh, supermarket, no haggle in supermarket. Right, okay. Yeah, in actually... Company, if, you, if the store uh, uh, owned by a company, you don't haggle. But it's uh, maybe I own the store, the people uh, want low price. But in company, right. no haggle in company. Right, okay, that's the same in the Philippines. The supermarket or in the mall, you don't haggle, but... Privately owned store? Sure, absolutely. Okay, uh, Amar, now, what we were doing before we, I sort of changed topic, <clears throat> but since you just came to the class, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, uh, we were doing something called show and tell. Do you know what that is? Uh, I know what show and I know what tell, but... <laughs> <laughs> but together? Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, because in some countries, so far United States and Pakistan, uh, when we're children, sometimes the teacher will ask us to bring objects from home and describe them in front of the class. So that's what we're doing. We're sort of practicing the description. So all, everybody in the class so far, except you and Anastasia, hi, Anastasia. Hi. Um, We've all taken a turn and shown some object and told the story why this object is important or special or unique. Um, so do you have any kind of object that you can show us or a picture maybe even that you can share? You can do screen share uh, on the sidebar here. There's a, in the middle is the screen with the arrow. If you if you click that, you can share a file with everyone. So you, maybe you have a picture or an object. Do you have anything? Mm. I didn't uh, save a lot in my computer. <laughs> no. Okay. Do you have a camera? No, I don't have a camera. If uh, I have, I will turn on my camera. So I okay. Don't have. Okay. All right. Well, I. You don't have any pictures saved? Okay. Well, you know what? I do. So maybe uh, I'll give you a chance to practice description in a second. Uh, Anastasia, are you there? Yep. 
Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm here. Okay. Uh, um, do you know? Do you know show and tell? Uh, well, not exactly, but I just catch the idea, just how to do it, uh, okay. from your just r review before. Okay. Uh, in the class. Uh, well, it's a link. I guess you will get this in the chat. Oops. <laughs> uh, from Google. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, it it's a tennis racket head. Uh, well, I have one. Uh, for what? Nothing. A, a tennis me, racket. Uh, no, no, no. I was thinking yeah. te tennis racket head because there's a brand name called Head Tennis Rackets. Yeah, yeah. I talk about this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, well, it's like uh, the brand one. Uh, well, I have the racket, uh, tennis racket, which helps me to play tennis. Uh, well, I get my racket from my aunt as a present uh, from England. She uh, br bring me to Kazakhstan here. And, uh, I'm so happy about this one because it's uh, good stuff, you know, just made. Uh, well, it's orange color. Uh, I don't know. You do like this way, just show and explain like that. Yeah, actually, m uh, most of us have cameras, so we actually show like, uh, you know, like like this. I was showing. Uh, yeah. I have a, who my horn. Horn carved horn. Yeah. So. Do you kill? Do you kill someone? <laughs> kill someone? <laughs> no. Yeah, to get this horn. <laughs> no. But when we're riding our my when I'm riding my motorcycle down the street, I just I use it when I, somebody gets in my way. Okay. <laughs> no, not, not, not really. Gotcha. Um, I don't know. Just um, I play with my tennis racket uh, on spring, summer, and autumn time, uh, and happy with it. Okay. So. All right. Uh, you should use preposition in in springtime, summer, okay. in, in the fall. For times of the year, we use in. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right. I guess when I'm just uh, a little bit nervous or just shy, just no. get my English grammar. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. No problem. Uh, okay. Um, actually, I want to give Amar and Benin. Benin. Uh, am I saying your name wrong again? Benin? Yes. <laughs> no, it's right. Benin, okay. It makes me so nervous saying your name. Okay, I know you don't have a camera, and you, so you can't really show us, or, or you know, my mom doesn't have files. <coughs> but you can still describe the same way Anastasia did. Why don't you uh, give it a shot, practice describing something that's really important to you, or really unique? I have uh, something, but uh, I don't uh, know if this is what you want or not. Okay. I have um, a picture uh, for uh, m uh, me t uh, uh, let kids know how to uh, cook. Okay. You have. I don't know. What is it again? I'm sorry. Let's uh, let's uh, um, screen share. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, all right. If you see. <laughs> wow. This yes. uh, so some kids. Uh, I learn him how how to. This is uh, we put it in the fire. We close. We, we close it and put it in the fire. Maybe twenty minutes. And uh, open it and uh, put it in a sandwich. It's very delicious. Okay, what is it? What is it called? Uh, I don't know what we call it, but uh, <laughs> chicken and uh, some lemon ketchup. Oh, yeah. Okay. N Minis and uh, some g g green stuff. 
<laughs> Some <laughs> green stuff. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you call it in English. <laughs> Grass? <laughs> Beans? What is it? Cilantro? Maybe? I don't know. Basil? Beans. Spinach? Could be a lot of things. I'm trying to tell from looking at the picture. I, Vegetables. I, yeah, green stuff. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Dollars. <Okay>. Dollars. <laughs> yeah. Right. Actually, you call it uh, greens, right? Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, Nick uh, slang for money is green or greenbacks. Because Actually, greenbacks. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, greenbacks. Yeah. Because in Russian we call it like green. Ah, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I uh, follow-up question, uh, Amar. So, who are these kids, and why are you teaching them? You taught them how to cook this, right? <laughs> Uh, we have uh, five day of a week. We uh, these children c come to the mosque and learn uh, the the holy C C Quran. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am the one of the teacher there. And uh, in in the last day of a week, we go and uh, in a trip. Ah. Trip. Like in uh, safari or uh, some place, play football. The, the, this is in the safari. We uh, uh, let the uh, children do the most work. We just <laughs> right. yeah. Ah, oh, very cool. Uh, you're you're a good man, obviously. Helping the kids. All right, teaching at the mosque. What a good guy. Okay. That's awesome, man. Very cool. Keep up the good work. And thank you. That's exactly what I'm looking for and what we're trying to do. Good job. Very nice. Okay. Uh, ben in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're, you're probably last here. So what uh, you can describe something to us and tell us the story about it or... Or if you have a photo, you can do what Amon just did. Anything or...? Anything. Anything at all. One minute. Sure. Like, like, can I show you anything? <laughs> well, okay. We're rated G, let's say. When I say you can show us anything, we are a family program here at Verblink, so... <laughs> Yeah. Okay, but you can ex you can just talk about it, but then, or you okay. or you can screen share either way. I'm gonna show you my um, city. Oh, great! Terrific. Um, do you see it or not? I, s well, I did. Oh, very okay. Obviously. Uh, on the ocean, near mountains, yes. many whitewashed. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's called uh, La Marsa. It's a city uh, in Tunisia. And uh, you, <laughs> you really have to see to visit it because it's a very beautiful uh, city with a blue beach and uh, uh, in the summer, it's very uh, you 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 can enjoy your summer there with the sunshine. Um, that's it. Okay, it does look quite beautiful. A very most of the buildings are whitewashed, white color. Yes, white white and uh, the window are blue. It's uh, we paint uh, our. Um, Houses like that in Tunisia, in all of Tunisia. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Okay. You have lots of pictures. <laughs> yes. Okay. And what is this city called again? Uh, La Massa. La Massa. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Wow. Yeah, that does look nice. What? What is this? What is this down where it says page five? Oh, what's this food? 
<laughs> I always want to know about the food. Ah, the uh, Kebab. Have, uh, Is it kebab? Day. No, uh, it, it's uh, not uh, Tunisian. We have couscous, uh, if you know it. Ah, couscous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. couscous. I know this one. Yeah. Mm. What is this? That is. It's kind food. of like rice, right? Yes, it's like the rice, but it's not uh, rice. <laughs> a lot of things <laughs> yeah, I know. you put in there. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a kind of grain, I, I believe. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. With vegetables oh. and meat. Yeah, it looks good. I always get why we always talk about food in my classes, and it always makes me hungry. Actually, <laughs> I guess yeah. because you're a chef. Yeah, I know. My brain just gravitates that way. My brain just goes there. Um, yeah. Okay, so that was terrific. Actually, thanks for sharing that. And, it, and you know what? I think it does look very beautiful. I would actually really like to go there. Thanks. Honestly, I would. It looks awesome. I've I've never been to North uh, Northern Africa. The closest I guess I've been to Greece. Uh, a a little bit similar with the whitewashed buildings, and of course the beautiful ocean. You know the Mediterranean is beautiful, of course. Yeah. Um. Really nice. Wow. I'd like to go there. Uh. Okay. Um. Since we're winding down, we only have a few minutes left. Uh, I'll just wide open. Does anybody else have anything they'd like to share? And they'd like to show and tell? No? Yes? No? Okay, I, I want to go back to my question then about, since we only got a couple minutes and I think this is interesting. Um, Amar, uh, Anastasia, well, let's actually, let me talk to Hernan. Hernan. Are you still with us? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Um, and do people like to haggle where you're from? Do people bargain for things? All when they the time is. I think it's like almost like a national tradition. <laughs> national <laughs> sport. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, all the time. Yeah. Even in, in those big stores, like let's say like Sara or things like that. Some people ask for for down the the, the price, or they, they they try to nego negotiate the price. In those, wow! In those like big supermarkets. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very common in my country. Yeah. Okay. They're trying to get a discount. That's reduced yeah, price. Time. Discount. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's very funny. Yeah. Most most Asian countries. That's the case. People. Negotiate. How about uh, Nora? How about in Hungary? Do people bargain for price? Hi, Nora. Oh, your microphone. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, now I'm here. Okay. Yay. Sorry. Okay. No problem. Okay, I can. So again, please, I can so hear uh, the question. You're from. Okay, you're from Hungary, correct? Yes. I'm from, yeah. So, do people in Hungary ever haggle or um, bargain when they buy things? Uh, Try to get I a cheaper think, price. Mm -hmm. I I think uh, the Hungarian people is uh, not do uh, bargain. Uh, uh, ooh, it's it's um. It's a, uh, yeah. Okay. No. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. You don't know. It's fun to haggle. You should try it. <laughs> how about Anastasia? How about in Kazakhstan? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, people can uh, haggle, but it's not so popular like in. Uh, other Asian countries, like you know, it's kind of uh, someone says like it's traditional sport. <laughs> maybe yeah. when you can haggle, uh, or just maybe ask discount. Oh, like okay. kind of discount. Yeah. Uh, well, of course not in supermarket. Um, right. But 
in just market where just people um, right. sell vegetables and fruits or, or maybe just clothes you can do it okay okay um, any anyhow thank you thank you everyone who had something to show we saw some really cool things so that was uh, that was nice but unfortunately our time has come to an end just when spicy dog hello goodbye <laughs> 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 buddy uh, I actually have to close the class now and make way for other teachers uh, here at Verblink so I'm going to end the broadcast now sorry spicy dog <laughs> next time I like your name it's very cool I really mm -hmm. bye. talk to you about it but I have to end the class all right bye bye bye, -bye. bye everyone bye, bye. thanks bye